Hi, and welcome to Accelerus Presents. I'm Pete Quayarello, and I am joined by Dave Vitorak. Hi, Dave. Hey, how are you, Pete? I'm good. So today we're going to continue our series on the tour of the Microsoft System Center Service Manager Console. This is part five of ten. We're in the administration workspace, and we're going to talk today about workflows. And remember that you can learn more about Service Manager implementation and training at Accelerus.com. Hey, why don't you kick us off? Well, service management workflows, let's, are there in the administration workspace? You see that a workflow is a sequence of activities. You've got, uh, automated, uh, automated resolution to email responses, an example. Um, you can have, uh, uh, they're not to be confused with tasks that are over here in the right hand pane. So, um, if you look at these things, examples of workflow, incident event workflow, desired configuration management event workflow. It's one or more, um, the thing about workflows, they're, they're actually kind of simple in this, in this product. Basically, when something happens to a specific object, like when a, um, an incident ticket gets created, for example, that, that, that has a, um, from uh, Opsman, comes over from Opsman for a critical high severity incident, you want certain people to be notified, and you want uh, other kinds of workflows to be kicked off. And that's the, the two things that can happen with a workflow and service manager. Yeah, and to your point, Dave, these are very, very easy to create. You can see here uh, what you'll be looking at when you go to create or to modify a workflow. Um, and this is a, a, a pretty standard um, approach throughout Service Manager. So the first is this general tab where you'll give the workflow a name and any sort of description that you want. It'll give you the option to check for events either when something is created or updated. In this case, this is a change request being updated. It then allows us to specify criteria that we want to use. So we've got this list of fields. And basically what we're doing is saying when the value in a given field is either equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, we've got a number of different operators that we can use. And we can use multiple criteria. That is going to trigger the workflow. And then we've got two things that we can do. Um, we can do one or both. The first is to apply a template. Uh, the idea here would be that if we had, uh, if our criteria were met, we could go and apply a standardized template that would pre-populate a lot of information for us, which can be very handy in cases where you were doing something that's repetitive or where we want to make sure we have precisely the right data. And then the second thing that we can do with these workflows is we can select people to notify. And what that does basically is that sends an email out uh, to people who are listed within the work item. So uh, in this case, the example is the assigned to a user. If I am uh, assigned to an incident in Service Manager, I can get a workflow where certain criteria are met when the incident is created or when it's updated, that will email me. It'll use an email template. We looked at that in an earlier video, which will have whatever information I would, I would want to include about that work item. So again, very, very straightforward, very, very easy to create. Also very, very easy to monitor. Um, when you have a bunch of workflows going, chances are occasionally you're not going to receive the email that you might expect to receive. Very easy to go in here and from the status menu to check on the status of uh, an individual workflow to see what instances have run successfully, what instances have had problems. So it really makes troubleshooting easy. 